Okay, it's slow news day. So I might as well share with you my home theater setup, October 2023 edition. Before I start, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And now let's go back to our feature presentation. As far as the screen goes, I still use Stewart Studio Tech 130 G4, as at this point, there's nothing better than that. My way of looking at it is, if it is good enough for production studio, then it's good enough for me. It's just like, C is for cookie, and it's good enough for me. No? Nothing? No? For projectors, I still use my JVC RS3100, but I also use BenQ 4550i, specially relegated for the 16x9 area of my screen. Why the two projectors? Because both of them are considered by me to be reference projectors, with the BenQ 4550i to be a reference entry-level projector. Just like in 2022, I still use my MK Sound S150 speakers for the front, left, center, and right, and also for surround left and surround right. These speakers are powered by Maran's MA500 THX certified mono blocks that are about 25 years old by this time. They suit my purpose perfectly, so why not? For power isolation, I use Taurus Power RM15 Plus, and for power conditioning, I use AudioQuest PowerQuest 303. And here it is again, the AudioQuest PowerQuest 303. Very understated looking, without a bunch of LED flashing all over the place. For Atmos in-ceiling speakers, I replaced my Revel C263 to MK Sound IC95, which in the end resulted in a much better imaging and improved envelopment. For subwoofer, I continue using my MK Sound V12 Plus subwoofer. This subwoofer includes auto calibration, so you don't have to use REW and buy mini DSP, U mic one, and learn how to use REW. As a source, I use Kaleidoscape with only six terabyte of hard drive space because I mostly rent my Kaleidoscape movies. When I don't rent, I usually buy my physical media and play them back on my Panasonic UB9000. And of course, to complete my video sources, I also use NVIDIA Shield Pro 2017 to access streaming services such as Netflix, Disney+, Apple TV+, and even YouTube. And since I have started this hobby about 35 years ago, of course, I have my LaserDisc player, Pioneer CLD D604, and CD player slash mini disc player, Sony MDX D3. And finally, to complete my source, I use a Technics SL1000 direct drive turntable that I've been using for more than 35 years. And for this turntable, I have updated the needle with Orthophone Red. And finally, the Pre-Pro itself. For that, I use Pioneer Elite SCLX704 used in Pre-Pro mode, which hopefully soon I can upgrade it to Pioneer Elite VSX LX805. That is if the VSX LX805 ever released in Canada. And now, last but not least, here are about 25% of my entire disc collection out of the 6,000 DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, laser disc that I have in my collection. And that's just for the video side. On the audio side, I have another about 2,000 CDs and vinyl that I have collected since the early 80s. And as for security system, I hire a slew of techs from THX to guard my audio video system and audio video collection. So what do you think about my updated system? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and click like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell notification button so the next time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.